Welcome back! Alright, well, we're currently busy trying to dodge boulders. Now, just remembering how uh, Chrono Trigger had a sequence, I think, in Magus' castle. Let's take this water spout down here. Which was very similar to uh, Donkey Kong. Oh, one odd bit when going down that little vine there. You get on it with down, but to get off it with left. It's kind of odd. So dodge, dodge the falling things. that in. The middle is the way we want to go. If we go over here on the left, though, there is a chest we can grab real quick. I'm not quite sure what the story is with those little funky things hanging out in those holes. I mean, ah! I mean, is it a species that just naturally a Involved to uh, hang out and ambush people. All right. Eyeballs. Uh, I do want exactly how are eyeballs? Ah, dang it! Exactly how are eyeballs used? Anyway, all righty. Let's fight this guy real quick. I'm not quite sure how much of the uh, battles and that is people want to be watching. So I'm doing a lot of skipping. Actually, I'm going to the far left here, trying to avoid this. Ah, nope, nope. Believe. Ah! Okay, alright, alright. I, I just, I've got to say, there's a, who the heck, I mean, I can understand having your clip, having it be hard to beat a festival, there's a couple things about this setup I've got to ask, one, do those regularity of those water spigots, whatever, do they have special pump set up to kick that out, are there any sort of things like that in real life that are that regular? Okay, okay, maybe that's nitpicky. But I, I've got to ask this question right here. Exactly how many rocks do they have up there? And what sort of training is involved in being able to just stand up there running around endlessly throwing rocks? I mean, cause remember, it's one guy they showed running around throwing rocks. Urgh! Thud! Urgh! Thud! It's like, okay... Must have some really special, like bodybuilder training or something at the uh, in the Vipers. Actually, that'd be cool. Today we're teaching you. Oh, that's just wrong. How to throw rocks. Or uh, these little like block nests that leap out and attack you. Oh yeah, when, uh, thing to confirm, I'm not sure if other characters do this as well. But when I be your best when I was first using Guile, I did wonder, it's like, hey, did you just attack more than one person at once with your three attack? And yes, actually, Guile, if he, his number three tends to be absolutely 
horrible percentage, but if it hits, it does appear to hit people on either side. I haven't really experimented too heavily with and that hurt. That hurt. So weakening up the sides and going for the center with the three can be a uh, good strategy as you can see there. I just want to have Kid try to steal. Generally, if you've got someone that can thief... Is thief even a verb? Eh, oh well. Sorry if I sound a little annoyed. I'm just trying to get to the top and get into this Viper Manor and see what... Well, I know it's there, but... So the characters can see what wonders and amazement awaits them. See, remember, it's just one guy. But where is he storing all these rocks? Do they have like a rock dispenser? Anyway. Now this is a trap. And this is something special and of note. How traps work. Actually, yeah, thank you. Now we want to go over to the uh, far right here. Is that you set one down. It's on the field. You know, you, you activate just like any other element. And then if an enemy uses that ele specific element that you set a trap for, you, um, then... Yeah, I need to write this, sorry. It doesn't affect you. And... Erg. And you then gain that element. There are some elements that you pretty much have to uh, acquire through traps. Alright, time for a boss fight. Now, obvious, supposedly some of these things can get you with poison, and if he's nailing you with rocks, that can knock your health down a little bit. These are the privates. A and B. I'm not, uh, too worried about this. Alright, yeah. Now, if you're thinking that, the uh, these two guys are a little too easy to guard the mansion. You would be right. Let's see if you have anything interesting. Ah! Another ivory helmet. Speaking of which, before we... Oh, come on, guy. I'll hit him. That was... Now, for people, they must have worn themselves out chucking rocks. That's a star. Awesome. Now, there's one thing I was saying. It says that you want to get as many mini boosts as you can in between stars. And that becomes relevant. Because right after you beat these guys... Wait, did he just pull a rock out of his pocket? Ooh, great big wing thing. Okay, this is going to be the actual boss. Now, you know what? I don't really care about the optimization right now. So we're going to go ahead and see just how tough this guy is. Alright, now this is the king. And 
these two guys, red and blue conveniently, they will buff up their keg. And also, as in many of these uh, games, I do believe, they, uh, if both of them are on the field, they've got special abilities that they can either use jointly or that the king can use. We're just gonna pick blue for... Okay, yep. And of course, I'm busy picking on blue first. When red decides to pull that. Alright. That's a good sign. Nimble. Now, Nimble's one we haven't seen before. Now, this might ink. Now, we'll just try to steal off the king, actually. Ah, yes. Now, I will admit, one annoying aspect of the mana system they have, you can only use things once, is things like steel. You can't spam steel in this game. Alright, is this gonna hurt? That looks painful. I mean, crack, that looked. Pa that actually didn't hit nearly as hard as I was afraid it would. Alright, pretty much let's take out these side guys. Just gonna have her hurry up and all right. Now this is actually where the end note. See a uh, guile here. He's got burns. I believe that works similar to a type of poison, and at the same time, yeah. Now, in order to cure it, we do have the ointment, but I don't have any equipped. So I don't think I can use this. this is the first aspect I've had to deal with. And they do carry out outside battle. And I know this is not the most entertaining commentary, I apologize. There's a couple of uh, new elements trying to mention. We'll be going to the manor next time.